Welcome back. This is Code Forces round 900 div 3. We're going to solve the second problem that is Alexa and stack. So in this question, they will give you a value called as n. You need to perform, uh, you need to find a sequence of integers that is strictly increasing. If you are having like a1, a2, an uh, is what we have to find. And the condition is a1 should be less than a2 less than everything should be less than an. Now, the question states that 3 into a of i plus 2 is not divisible by a of i plus a of i plus 1 for each i from 1 less than i less than n minus i n minus 2. So if I take something like a3, you multiply it by 3. This number should not be divisible, not be divisible by the previous two numbers that is a2 plus a1. If I take a5, you have to multiply it by 3 and it should not be divisible by the previous two numbers, the sum of previous two numbers, a4 plus a3. So let's uh, take a random example, like one less than, two less than, three less than, four less than, five. This is a sequence I generated, n they gave as five. Here if you take, let's take, for example, let's take three. Then what we have to do, first thing is we need to multiply it by three, then it should not be divisible by previous two numbers. What are the previous two numbers? Two plus one, right? One plus two, I am just writing. So three, three is a nine. Is 9 is divisible by 3, it is divisible, right? So this is not a valid sequence. We need to find a sequence such that this condition, uh, this number should not be divisible. So when can we say that a condition is divisible? Uh, so when can we say that a number is divisible or not is? Uh, the lower number will be a factor, right? So let us think of something. If we don't want to have a factor, the very easy thing what we do, it is just prime numbers, right? If we take some like, let's say we don't know, we'll take like prime numbers. Uh, something like uh, one is prime number, three is prime number, five is prime number. So what happens if we take five, it will be 15. Now 15 is here, but 15 mod four, it is not equal to zero. So like we have to, but we have to make sure that uh, this sequence should be correct. This can be a prime number. If you multiply it by three, the other two prime numbers sum should not be a factor. So we are, should have that conviction. So in this case, let's assume might be a solution or might be not. So what is the most simplest way to do it is you understand the parity. Parity means odd or even, right? So let's say this is an odd number. This is an odd number. And this is also an odd number. Let's say this is an even number, even number, even number. This is sequence A1 and this is sequence A2. Let's try for A2. So if you take three times odd number, if you multiply an odd number with an odd number, what happens? It is an odd number. If you sum an odd number and odd number, what happens? It is an even number. Now, can I say that the odd number is divisible by even? It is never divisible, right? Odd number mod even is definitely not equal to zero at any cost. So this is also one thing value. Let's take for even. Even what happens three times even number, it's an even number. Mod even plus even is what? It is even. But even mod even may be zero. Okay, if it's a factor. So one thing we are sure is we don't have to check prime factors or something. I'm just checking the priority. Is there any standard solution for this? So if you are able to generate it, it is zero here. It's also odd, odd. Now if I know that, three times odd, this is, since three is odd and this is also odd, it will become an odd, but some of this, it will be an even. So whatever number you take, if there is an even, there is at least, even if it's a closest factor, there is at least one remainder that exists. It can never divide itself. So how did we code it? The coding is very simple. I just start from three and for all the n elements, I'm just incrementing it by two. So if they give n value as five means, I start from three, then the next value will be five, seven, 9, 11. So whatever number I take, 27, and take the sum of these two values, 5 plus 5 is 10, 11, 12. So 27 mod 12 is definitely not zero. So it is valid. So that's the logic and it's pretty simple, right? And uh, we'll see you in the next video.